What's up everyone? I'm going to be uh, talking to you guys how to import your videos on editing software that GoPro has provided us on the website. So, this is uh, the basic editing software. It's no means Adobe After Effects or any of that. It's free. It's, uh, it's a good starting point for people that only have iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. So, Let's get started. To download um, the program, you're going to want to go on gopro.com slash 3D Sin Form Studio Software Download. I'll post the uh, URL on uh, the comments. So, this is the website. It's made for uh, making your GoPro 3D uh, and compressing it to make it so you can watch it on. TV or YouTube, but it works fine just for uh, non 3D GoPro cameras. So you want to select your platform, Mac or PC, type in your name, last name, email address, and submit. It should start downloading. Once that's downloaded, you're going to want to boot up the program. Like I said, this is a very basic editing platform. Don't expect anything like After Effects and all that. It is made just for a uh, just for the GoPro like novice users. So this is the application. Right here you have file, edit, help. So this is how you import your new uh, GoPro files. You want to go here and you should already download your uh, GoPro uh, videos on your uh, computer. So after that, you want to click the one that you want. To make a uh, time lapse video, you can go to the folder that has all your time lapse pictures, highlight all of them. I'll just highlight some of them. Go here. And then drag all the ones that you selected. And it has it right here. So, this is the interface. Very clean, simple. Like I said, this is made for a 3D. GoPro. You can trim the video by going to the part that you don't want. Pressing in, and it'll trim that part. Or if you want it out, stop right there. You could do that. You can adjust the volume of your video down here. Make it full screen. You can also rotate, rotate and flip, but you could also do this on the GoPro settings and advanced settings. You could change the frame size for HD or not. Make it 16:9 so you get rid of these black bars. Frame rate so you can make it 10 frames so it'll be slow, or 60 so it'll be fast. Maintain audio pitch. This is for uh, 3D settings. File format, quality. Press OK. So once you get the settings you want, you want to edit. But as you see, there's not none of your clips here. So you want to go import and convert. Add clip to conversion. Convert. Just for our sakes, I'm going to go trim this really down. Right there. Move that. I'm going to go add that clip over three seconds. Convert so it'll be faster for you guys. Um, 
So yeah, this is a pretty useful uh, tool that I've been able to be using. It's good for time lapses and making the black bars disappear. All right. So now I'll go to step two, edit. You do playback, best full resolution. You want that? This is for a uh, 3D camera, so don't touch that. You don't really need this 3D convergence controls. White balance. You can change the temperature to make it more warmer feeling. Intent. Image controls, exposure, contrast, saturation, framing, zoom. I don't I wouldn't really touch this except for Yeah, I wouldn't really touch that. So after you're done you can name it, change where it's uh, saved, and export. And once you export that into MP4 you could uh further uh, further edit these uh, programs by using iMovie or any or any other uh, editing software guys so uh, see you guys later have fun peace